Last week, KREX broke the story about the suicide of a Montrose woman allegedly connected to a man in Canada selling sodium nitrite as a so-called suicide kit. But what is sodium nitrite? Our Michael Lagerwell has got the latest. These are our children, and they need help. David Ramirez of Montrose told KREX he recently lost his 20-year-old daughter Noelle Ramirez to sodium nitrite poisoning. Ramirez said she purchased a lethal dose of sodium nitrite online and had it delivered directly to their home. But what is sodium nitrite? It's an industrial chemical that's used in a lot of different manufacturing processes. Shireen Banerjee is a clinical toxicologist at the Rocky Mountain Poison Center. She says sodium nitrite is a common chemical used to preserve food products. Now when it's used in food preservation, like things like hot dogs and bacon, um, the amounts are small and that should not pose any toxicity. But if it's used for the wrong purposes... It could be very serious, even cause death if too much is, is ingested. Banerjee says symptoms of ingesting too much sodium nitrite can be nausea and vomiting, but worse symptoms start as headaches and a rapid heart rate. And then a condition with what is called met hemoglobinemia, and that's something where your body can't carry oxygen the normal way, and so there's a deprivation of oxygen. Those effects can be deadly. While the Rocky Mountain Health Poison Center said they rarely receive calls about sodium nitrite poisoning, you should still be prepared. So anybody with life-threatening effects, immediately call 911. Banerjee said with minor symptoms, it's better to be safe than sorry and recommended driving victims to an emergency location. These so-called harmless or legal chemicals, they're not harmless. And they shouldn't be legal. But Banerjee doesn't believe a true ban of sodium nitrite, even though some have accessed it online, will come. There are legitimate reasons to be using sodium nitrite in, in a variety of different workplace settings and in the food industry. Whether banned or not, the best way to protect yourself and your loved ones is knowledge. The Poison Helpline at Rocky Mountain Poison Center is 1-800-222-1222. First on the Western Slope, Michael Lagerwell, KREX 5 News.